Hey, what's up? It's Tackless, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Project Spark tutorial for making a global dynamic map. I made a tutorial for this not all that long ago, but uh, it turned out that my mic wasn't functioning correctly, so my audio didn't record. So, I'm going to be redoing it as quickly as I can. So first off, this is what it does. It gives you a view of the entire world, and you can move around no problem. I'm not going to be going into how to do waypoints or markers on the map or anything like that, but that's that's the result that we're going to be going for. So, let's take a look in game. First thing you want to do is you want to grab a camera model. Now, it, the fact that it's a camera isn't all that important, but it makes your life easier if it's a camera. You know what direction it's facing and all that. I've already got my camera right here, so I'll put a new one next to it. So what you want, one of the things that you want to do is you want to establish which direction is north, so to speak. And north will be determined by the top of your camera. So I've decided that the direction I'm looking right now, that's my north. So I'm going to rotate my camera to look in that direction at 180 degrees, which is a little bit finicky to get on a joystick. Come on. Eh, I'll get it. Come on. There. Next, you need to aim it straight down. Actually, 270 degrees. All right, there we go. Now, if you have a bigger world, you may want to raise this camera up higher, unless you want a zoomed-in view. Or if you don't want the camera to be able to move, um, then we can leave out a step later, and you may want to have the camera zoomed farther out. So, there's the camera. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the camera's brain. We're going to create a global Boolean variable called map, which I have already created right here. So when this variable is equal to true, let's make a few lines child code. Then, oh, here we go. We're going to do first person camera. Uh, let's see, transition type snap. We want this to happen instantly. If you're using third person or first person camera, if you use another type of transition, the transition to this camera will look kind of odd. Um, but if you're using a top-down camera, like I did in one of my old Zelda worlds, then using another type of transition works really well. But that's what I'm going to do. And next, transition time. Well, it's snap. You don't need to worry about that. Next, we want to be able to have this to move around. So when we're going to do right joystick for the map instead of left. Now you can do it. You know what? Let's do it left. Let's do left joystick. Now, currently, this will make your character run around the map as you're moving the map around. But we'll fix that later. Because usually you don't want your character to be able to move around while you're looking at the map. So when left stick do move with strafing. This is important or else your car the camera won't keep facing the same direction. We also want to bump the speed up or else the camera will move around the world as fast as your character and that is kind of pointless. So 25, you can play with this, but 25 works pretty well. So that's the first step. Next step is to go down to our playable character right here open up his brain and I already have his code in here but I will remove it for good measure Man, I'm getting quite a bit of code built up so and let's remove that and there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a line of code when I'm gonna choose right bumper when the right bumper is pressed, then global map is equal to true. And then when it is released, it is equal to false. So now pressing and holding the left bumper will toggle whether the map works or not. Now, we don't want our character to be moving around while uh, the map is open. So we're going to make the movement under 
as a child line and then above it when global map is equal to 